today's video, which is all about AliExpress kit. Now, I bought a lot of AliExpress summer kit, which is fine. You know, there's some good quality jerseys and shorts, so would highly recommend people like YKY, Spexel, etc. But making summer kit not too difficult, making winter kit a lot more pressure because it's hard to make it waterproof, warm, but also kind of like if you get too hot, it also wicks sweat away. So I've like not gone for AliExpress kit for a couple of years because I've always just been a bit like hesitant, like, oh, maybe it'll be useless. But this winter, I uh, obviously haven't been winter for too long in the UK at least. I bought some winter kit and I think we, this is from YKY. Um, I'll leave the links for the stuff below and I'm kind of going to go through them now. So first we've got the winter jacket. Now it's a pretty nice color this, I think. Uh, it's, uh, it comes in a range of colors, green and, and others. Uh, so yeah, it's decent, but I think the key thing really is to look at the fabrics. So this is on the arm. So you can see it's very thick, um, fleece lined kind of uh, material. So I'm a big fan of that. Um, you can also see like on the outside, it's got like the little zipper. So it's, it actually fits not too bad. Um, again, if we look more, on the inside in terms of like, uh, sorry, hang on a minute. Look on the inside, it's also fleece lined on the back here as well, around the neck, which is nice, but you can see in the main part, it's not so actually like the sweat kind of can get away. Um, I'd say the, the biggest part where it's best is on the front here. So um, if you wear it, obviously like this, uh, sorry, the arms are inside out. But yeah, like this bit here, which is the front, um, this is also really thick as well. So that is pretty good. So in terms of warmth, I'd say very warm. Uh, it has uh, the temperatures from five to minus 10 on it. So again, like actually not too bad uh, in terms of, I think this is it, obviously it'll be reverse on you, but it says minus five to plus 10 degrees, five star wind resistance, four star wind water resistance, three star breathability, two star elasticity. Now I'd say my criticism of this is it's really not waterproof. Um, I tested it under a tap and it like kind of seemed waterproof, but I rode it when it was like five degrees and very rainy the other day and it's not waterproof. Now, these winter jackets, I don't think are ever going to be like perfectly waterproof. However, I do think I've got other winter jackets, which I'm going to show uh, at the end. Well, actually, no, I'll just do it now. It makes sense to compare like to like. So my other, I'd say, biggest competitor, uh, which is significantly more uh price i think this new would be like 300 quid but you can always get lacole stuff on mad discounts because they discount stack and stuff so i think i end up getting this for like maybe 100 quid and this one or maybe a little bit less and this one was 50 pounds i think so quite a lot cheaper now this again is a lot thicker i'd say and a bit warmer um than the uh yky stuff but it's also way more waterproof um it's still like similar ish material but it is just a bit more waterproof which is kind of good Obviously waterproofing is always lost, but yeah, I'd say this is like a pretty good winter jacket. It's got this thing at the back, which I think is quite good as well, like flips out. So I'd say on balance, will I go for the YKY? Yeah, I think it does the job for most winter rides. If it's a little bit drizzling, it will be waterproof enough. But if it's proper rainy, you do just need like a shake dry kind of thing. But I think for cold temperatures, um, it's really good. And I'm quite a fan of it. I think they're pretty good. Uh, now we've got the bib tights again. Uh, we'll show you the chamois. Chamois is nothing mental. It's just, you know, is what it is. I think it's fine. However, I don't really get saddle sword ever or things like that. So I I don't really know what a good and bad is, to be honest. I think because I don't weigh that much, it means it's kind of okay. Um, but again, so these is also deep winter, five to minus 10. So you can see on the inside here, uh, it's like fleece lined, which is really good. Um, this again is waterproof-ish. Um, I'll, I'll put some videos of me pulling water over it from a tap. It's decent. Um, it's not unreal, uh, but I would say it's more waterproof than kind of a traditional uh, bib tight. Like it's definitely got waterproofing ish. I think the main reason why I'm a big fan of it is that it's really warm. So I've been wearing it today. It's like minus one, minus two outside. And again, no stress at all. I'd say they're really warm. They're some of the warmest I've had. Um, again, I'll compare it to some other ones that I have with, from like Western brands. Um, again, like it's got a kind of small base layer, which I do quite like, like here, which is a zip. I feel like it'd be better if it went higher up just to give you a, that extra layer. But apart from that, I reckon these are pretty good as well. These were like 30 quid, I'm pretty sure. So for me, it's actually a no brainer to get these. Again, YKY stuff. Um, so yeah, really, really good in my opinion and does the trick. Like the top bit is not as waterproof, um, like kind of the chamois area, but the, the leg part, waterproof and thick as well. So I'd say the only real thing uh, I have 
similar is these Katusha ones. Um, again, like they're pretty good uh, in terms of the fact like they're really thick, wintry here again, and you can see the material on the outside is similar. I'd say these are probably the best wind types I have for like real deep winter. Um, and again, like these would probably are slightly better, but like new, I think they are like two or 300 pounds. So they're very expensive, these stuff. I'm actually getting them a lot cheaper, but I would say if you couldn't get these things on discount, I would just go YKY. I think it's good enough um, for most people. I think, okay, if you're doing real grim stuff, but then I do grim. I don't think many people do much more grim stuff. Like I've done five, six hours when it's raining and three degrees and it's fine. Um, in, a, in AliExpress stuff, to be honest, I don't think it's that different to um, the Western brand. So I, I do think go ahead, buy the AliExpress stuff. The next thing I want to try out is a shake dry jacket. Um, I think that'd be interesting to see if they could do it as well as Gore-Tex because obviously Gore-Tex ones, PTFE, they're like pretty not happy about using it in clothing anymore. So I think it's going to go, but I reckon AliExpress lot will keep using it for ages. Um, so I think that could be a good option in future if the Gore-Tex shake dries do disappear, which I think they're supposed to. Um, so yeah, I think that's the only thing I kind of want to try. Um, maybe overshoes, but spats are good enough and they're not that expensive, so not massive stress. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this quick sort of uh, video. I would highly recommend both the AliExpress stuff. Just remember the top, not that waterproof. It's okay, it's not great um, on the arms. And then the, the, the bottoms, like bib tights, I think are mega and I, I'm really happy with them. So yeah, cheers for watching. See you in the next one.